What's up, Bo Chasers? It's week seven, and I'm still holding on strong. I'll give you my week seven update after this. Let's get into the intro. What's up, YouTube? Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Tashami Berry, aka Cali Hustle 619, and this is Gold Chasers, where we explore mental and physical fitness. All right, so for those who may know me um, or who don't, I'm on the 75 Hard Challenge, and this is my week seven uh, update video. So if you're looking for uh, details on the uh, uh, 75 Hard Challenge, there's um, plenty of of pages where they talk about it uh, but the basics are um, you gotta work out twice a day uh, once outside or once one indoor one outdoor and they both need to be 40 at least 45 minutes a piece uh, drink a gallon a day um, take one update picture or one progress picture a day uh, pick a diet and stick to it for the 75 days no cheat days and no alcohol. So this has been tough, but uh, it's supposed to build mental toughness. So let's get into the weigh-in. So when I started this challenge, I weighed in at 418. That was seven weeks ago. Uh, and today I weighed in at 385. So that's 33 pounds down in the last 49 days. So that is pretty good. My last weigh-in was last week and I weighed in at 387. And so that's only two pounds in uh, the last week, but two pounds is good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm all for it, you know, 33 pounds in, in 49 days, you can't beat that. And it, it definitely is showing me that at, at the age of 40, I haven't lost it. I haven't lost that, that, uh, that drive and that ability to lose weight, which was what I was afraid of. So let's get into my... Uh, my diet. So I've been doing a low carb diet where I basically have cut out all starches, no potatoes, no bread, no rice. Um, getting that all out of there. I mainly eat meat and vegetables, and so and, and fruit here and there. You know, um, it hasn't been easy. It's been very hard, especially with everyone around me eating lots of bread and rice and starches, but. Uh, you know, it's 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 normal now. It's normal for me not to, and it's normal for me not to even want it as much. I don't think that that uh, feeling of of I don't know the the just that want will ever go away, but it's not as strong as it used to be. So that's been my diet. Um, Going, moving forward, I feel that I'm going to try to eat more lean meats, more lean protein, and more vegetables than the protein, and see how that affects my weight loss. All right, so now my workouts. Um, as I stated before, two workouts a day, one indoor, one outdoor for 45 minutes a piece. So this week, I I put a check in the checkbox. That was um, pretty much how that went. I, I wasn't really feeling it but i knew i didn't want to go back to day one so i went to the gym i did what i needed to do for 45 minutes i didn't put forth the effort that i did in prior weeks but i, I made sure that i i got my 45 minute workout in i did my walk um i wasn't power walking it or anything i was just going for 45 minutes so uh, i still lost the two pounds but i felt like i could have did better so, you know, I'm going back to the lab and, and, and work harder next week. So that's the plan. Um, so I'll do another video in a week and, and let you know how that went. Oh, I forgot one more requirement of the 75 Hard Challenge, and that was to read uh, 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day. So I'm on my third book now, and the book I have chosen is... 70 hops, 75 hard. Now you would have thought that I would have picked it up 
first week, but they were all sold out. And I, I bought it as soon as I could get a, get a copy. So very good book. Uh, speaks a lot about him and his struggle and how he uh, pretty much started from the bottom. And, and now he's a nine-figure businessman. The MF CEO, so um, I'm like on page 50, so I'm still, you know, getting into the book, but it's really good so far. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, before this challenge, I had never read a book from cover to cover. And again, this is my third book, so uh, I'm finding out a lot about myself, a lot about what I'm willing to do uh, to be successful. and. Um, I'm tearing down a lot of walls that stood in the way of me being successful. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, the first book I read, though, was the, Art, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. Um, and the second book was Atomic Habits. That was a very, very good book. And so, again, this is my third book. So how do I feel? Week 7, day 49. You know, 49 days in. How am I feeling? I feel great. I feel great. I, I haven't felt this good in a long time. I feel um, young again almost. You know, not that I'm that old. 40 is that old, but uh, this is when things start going downhill. I feel like, uh, or I guess depending on how you look at it, uphill because things get harder. But um, I've, I've, like I said, broken through a lot of barriers. The, the, the fact that I can do the things that I can do now is is amazing to me um, my only problem right now is that uh, my knee I, i'm having some knee issues and they are hindering a lot of progress i feel anyway um, because if i wasn't or if it didn't hurt then i'd be out there jogging and running um, so but i can't because <laughs> it hurts so bad but uh, I'm gonna try to get this figured out and figure out what it is, what's going on with my knee so that I can keep moving forward. But um, besides that, I know that the weight loss will help as well. Uh, so I just gotta keep finding new ways to, to keep losing weight, to stay active. Um, if my knee uh, hurts and it's hindering me, then I need to find new exercises that are low impact and will still give me that good workout. So I, I ride the bike a lot or the elliptical. Um, and I also tried, you know, swimming in a pool. I don't swim, so I was kind of just doing some water aerobics, but uh, I was just trying to get, get a workout and get my body moving, get, you know, low impact, a low impact sweat, <laughs> basically. So, you know, that's been, how it how i've been handling it but outside of that i feel great you know when i walk my back doesn't hurt uh, my legs don't hurt my calves don't hurt my you know everything doesn't hurt like it used to for doing you know simple things like walking down the street picking up something heavy you know i'm getting stronger i can pick up things that that used to be heavy or would cause me problems, now I can pick it up with no problem. And, and I like that. So, you know, I, I said in one of my videos before, if it wasn't the 75 hard challenge, it would be something. And I picked the 75 hard challenge and I put my all into it and I'm getting results. So it doesn't have to be the 75 hard challenge. Whatever it is, the challenge you choose, as long as you're putting your all into it, you'll get results. All right, now for the fitness tech. Now, I kind of, I'm not sure why, but I hadn't really been uh, including this in the videos that I've been doing. And so I'm bringing it back. The fitness tech. The fitness tech that, that I used during the week that I felt was worth mentioning. <laughs> so uh, this week, I was reviewing uh, the Sen uh, Sennheiser Momentum Truly Wireless 2 earbuds. Um, so you can check out the link uh, for the review. Uh, and, and what I'm basically doing is, it's a gold chasers tech 
uh, review kind of portion of my videos where I just go over things that will I feel will benefit you uh, in the gym. And maybe not benefit, things that will make it easier for you to stay focus, focused on your workout. Now if you're anything like me, I can't work out without music. It's horrible. You know, it's boring. It makes the workout so much longer. Um, but when I have some good music and good earbuds, then the workout seems so much better. So again, these are the Sennheiser. Uh, was it Momentum 2, Truly Wireless. Very good earbuds. And if you're looking for some earbuds for working out, these, I would say, uh, these are my new standards. So anything that I, I review from this point is either gonna be better or worse. But these set the bar very high. So, I mean, as far as performance and quality, you can't miss with these. So check those out if you're looking for something. And again, I'll be reviewing other earbuds, so I'll give you my take on, on how they stack up to the Sennheiser Momentum 2 Truly Wireless. But yeah, check those out if you're looking for some earbuds. All right, now onto the challenge. Now, as I've stated in pre prior videos or previous videos that uh, being in a week or being in the gym all week gets boring. So I like to have a weekly challenge where I get to challenge all of that training that I've done for the week in the gym and take it out to a mountain and try to hike or, uh, you know, just do something, you know, do some sports or I can't do sports right now, but do something to take that training and put it in motion. Because if you're just training just to train, it gets boring. And so this week's challenge is going to be Lake Murray in San Diego, California. It's a seven mile walk, nice and paved and, and not hard. It's just, you know, a long, long walk. And I feel that that's something I need because I want to get back into hiking. But in order to hike, uh, or in order to walk, you got to crawl. And I feel it's not a crawl, don't, don't get me wrong. It's just a long walk and it's a good walk, but it's, an, it's just nice. The scene is very scenic, it's very relaxing, and you can go out there and see, you know, how far you can walk before you start feeling anything or pain or whatever, you know, and you know, you don't have to worry about being stuck on a mountain because you underestimated yourself. So, um, I'm going to do Lake Murray um, Saturday, July 3rd at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 08 for you military cats. And just, you know, walk it. If, if you feel like running or feel like biking it, you know, be my guest. Just go out there, get a good sweat in. And then, you know, after, we could do some breakfast or something. But, um, you know, come on out. If you live in the area, if you're interested in a, in a group of people who who are all basically, you know, doing the same thing, you know, come on out. It's a good, it's a good way to get that blood flowing early in the morning and get those 10,000 steps. If you're trying to get 10,000 steps a day, I guarantee you by the end of that walk, by the end of those seven miles, you'll have 10,000 and it'll be before the afternoon and you'll be good for the day. You Anything else is extra. So come on and check it out. And with that being said, please uh, like, subscribe, share. And if you're out there doing your thing, keep chasing those goals. I'll see you at the next video.